Okay, guys, so we, we know about the sine ratios in a right angled triangle. The sine of an angle is given by the opposite side divided by the hypotenuse. But in this diagram, we do not have a, a right angle. So if we want sine of angle, say B or A or C, we can't say opposite over hypotenuse because there is no hypotenuse there since there is no right angle. Right, if I want us to get um, a rule, what we call the sine rule uh, from this triangle here. So given that that is vertex A, the length of the opposite side will be denoted by small letter A. And if this here is angle B, then the length of AC, which is the opposite side there, is denoted by the small letter B. And then uh, the other one there is denoted by the letter C. That, that is how it always goes. Uh, I want us to construct a perpendicular height, say from point A for now, and let's call that one H. And so we now have two right angles, triangles there. And we, we can work out the sine of B. Please, from that diagram, tell me what sine of B is equal to. Remember, sine of an angle in a right angle triangle is given by the opposite side divided by the hypotenuse. So sine of angle B will be equal to H over C. And then we want to make H the subject there. That means H is equal to C multiplied by the sine of angle B. Right, um, similarly from the other triangle, you can work out the sine of angle C. So sine of angle C is the opposite side which is H divided by the hypotenuse. So this is H divided by B. And if you make H the subject, you get H is equal to B multiplied by sine of angle C. Now we, we can use these two equations. To solve simultaneously, it says H is equal to C sine B, but H again is equal to B sine of C. That then means that C sine of angle B should be the same as B multiplied by sine of angle C. I hope you see that from number one and number two. Uh, if I divide both sides by BC, like divide here by BC, and divide there also by BC, then the left-hand side becomes sine of angle B all over B, and the right-hand side will become sine of angle C, all that divided by C. And that is what we call the sine rule. So if you include angle A, you can actually show that sine of angle A divided by A is the same as sine of angle B divided by B, same as sine of angle C divided by C. And like we said, we will call this the sine rule.